Hello students, good, good evening everyone. Welcome to our English class. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello guys, welcome to all, all of you. It's a great pleasure to have you here, ready to learn English and also do the best, right? So I hope that you have had a great time, a great day. And also, you know, before you know concluding our day, so the best way to practice English is one of the ways. So I know this, there are some students joining right now. And uh, I just want to know, so how was your day, guys? Was good? So you had a freedom to talk about your personal experience. It was a great day. It was like a little busy. How was it? Tell me. Mirna, how was your, how was your day, by the way? Today was a little busy for me in the job and the thing that I have, I have to do. <laughs> it's a little bit busy, but... It's normal day, the job or so so you're familiar with what you do and also responsibilities and the time you take to to work in things, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, I am both. <laughs> yeah. So we, sometimes we are adapted to the rhythms of activities we do in a job. The schedules, for example, there are some people that they work uh like more than eight hours a day. And also they, uh, after, you know, having this schedule, they are adapted to this schedule. So perhaps there are like some busy things, but you know, you're adapted to this schedule. Okay. Yes, I adapted my schedule. Yes, some day I can work from home and some day I have to you know, the, the office. Yeah, I adapted the schedule. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's important. That's important that we know what to do and also respecting the rhythms of activities in the work. And sometimes happen that, you know, you're, you have a very busy schedule that so you don't feel the time. Time goes so fast that you, uh, after you start the job and then you're, you're about to go home and you're like, oh my God, I didn't feel the time. Well, it's too busy that I didn't feel the time. And that is an advantage, right? Because sometimes when you have like, no many things to do 
it's like you feel the time is like slow and you are like two or three hours and you feel that it's a long time. So that depends. So in my case, I love to work a lot in other way. Yes, we're not. Yes, I try. Yes. Hello. Yes, that happens, right? Because this case is in that way. So we are adapted to different things. Okay, guys, don't forget to have the camera on as the requirement given by Insaford that all of you had to have the camera on. So I would really appreciate the ones that all the time you know, follows the, the indications given by Insta4. And I know that most of, most of you who stay here, you have the camera activated. And also remember that, as I said, the uh, Insta4 monitors well, who are connected and also have the camera on with the names and all general information. As you see at the beginning of this program, we always say that we have to follow the instructions. Also having the camera on to see that we are here active in the class, that will stay the time. And, uh, and also I can see there are some students here that they, they even don't participate in class. Uh, sometimes they are just connected and that doesn't work in that way. Perhaps it's understandable when some of you for some reasons have to work you know, during at nine, so during this schedule, and that is understandable because we have to respect our job. And I have been like that, that I have been in a class and I have been working, so I have to respect the job and also I have to respect the class, but not all the time, right? So it's important. And we are about to finish this level and also try to take advantage about the time we have here in this class. And also the last topics are like pretty easy for you guys. Well, so yesterday, just giving a feedback about what we did yesterday, we were talking about the also the generation X and the generation Y. And we're saying that the generation Y was related to millennials. And also there are some characteristics when we compare the millennials and the baby boomers. Two different generations with different challenges, different uh, social, uh, um, social situations. Uh, technology challenges related to economy, there are different aspects that perhaps we need to know about that. that we have experienced situations like that. And also we summarized yesterday's class that we talk about that most of you had been working with people from the five generations or some previous three generations. And um, baby boomers, generation C, millennials, and imagine the future generations we call the alpha generation. So it's um, there are different challenges that we experienced. Also, yesterday um, we were working in the um, in different topics. We will continue to talking about compare generation X and also compare generation Y. That is the that is part of the topics. Imagine so we can see that we are in the bureau conference number twenty two. So three more. Um, classes and we conclude this level uh, expecting that most of you have gotten the advanced English level required for this uh, level because we need to move on to a high and advanced English level and I know that most of you have been participating in class speaking you know sharing your ideas all the time active and I congratulate you guys because you are taking advantage of the class it's not possible that we stay here and we don't participate. That's why we are here, because we have to show in every class that we are capable to go beyond our English level, speak, produce a language, and we get confidence with that. If you practice- Sorry, teacher, the light's gone at home, so sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, yeah, I know in some places. Yeah, don't worry about it. That happens. So that's why it's you know really important to like participate because we get confidence that's the only one way to know that we know all right so it also we're like talking about the assets and that belongs to generation x and y 
or we can say millennials in uh, in our place so we need to respect everybody we need to match to join all the generations to work and reach the main goals we were talking about that in the last class that it doesn't matter how they are what experiences they have the most important is to join this team and make that this team become successful that is the most valuable point also we talk about read the following article and get the most important ideas about bringing the generation gaps in the workplace if you remember we just uh, took a short time uh, to explain in a brief way what what understood right and what i want you to do is like go beyond so i'm going to send the article back and we're going to um uh, go deeper about these topics because there are different lines so if you allow me just one moment i will share with you guys the link again so the topic was bringing the generation gaps in the workplace we talk about simple gap analysis um, so we're going to try to read each one. One second. One second. I need to, I need to check this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sharing right now the link about this article because we were reading that yesterday and we didn't have enough time, but what I want you to do is to take a short time to read it and you will, um, get the main idea about a simple get analysis, a roadmap to bring to, to bridge the generations. And what do you understand about recommendations for Gen X or also baby boomers, right? And we're talking about recommendations for generation Y. And that's what I want you to do. You read the article again, and you will tell me what do you understand by a simple gap analysis. You will explain what what is that, what it what is the meaning about a simple generation analysis, a roadmap to bridge the generations. What do you understood? What do you understand about this article? Look at the following part. Look at this. Yeah, so and also you can also check the recommendations in that case. Look at that. What are the recommendations for generation X and Y? Okay, if you have any questions for doubt, you got a free down to Say, teacher William, I mean, can you explain that again? And I will be more glad to help you with that, right? So there are great recommendations because I was reading yesterday what are the recommendations of, for the Generation X or also the baby boomers, like, for example, start listening and stop assuming. That's a problem. Sometimes we assume how things could be, but the first recommendation for this generation is to listen carefully. What are the goals? What are the perspectives? What are the points that we need to reach during this process? And also respecting also the values. And we have to engage this, the newest employees and listen uh, to what they have to say. That's one of the points, right? And uh, don't assume we have them figured out because we read a book about them. And also to uh, be present on college and high school com composers. Well, want to make difference in how they be at the workplace. Talk with these generations, ensure your expectations, help them to manage their abilities or their things, and don't wait until they show up for the first interview and they'll be shocked they will don't act like we did at that age. So we're gonna try to read the article and also get the most valuable points. We're gonna be sharing some ideas about it. Okay, uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes. And then we um, discuss here in the class. Okay, we can start now, guys.
Okay, students, um, are you ready to, you know, to share some ideas about this article? Emerson, ready? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. So remember that we said at the beginning that we had to read a little bit about a simple gap analysis. So what was the introduction or what was the meaning about a roadmap to bridge the generations? We also have to read related to um, some points, recommendations for GNA and why, and also recommendations, uh, especially for this uh, type of generation. X and also Y. Uh, for Gen X, the baby boomers, right? So there are some recommendations that perhaps we can also analyze with our classmates. Okay, students, let's uh, go back to, you know, just reading about this article. And I'm just going to give a brief introduction about the bridging the duration gap in the workplace. Well, so talking about the simple analysis, you know, the the writers uh, talk about the generation X and Y, talk about the baby boomers and also how they interact in different areas, especially when we're talking about improving work culture, cultures among um, some other things the issues related to business, the way that they think, the analysis they take, and also the predecessors. You know, it's something important to know about each generation 
and also the the work in life it's important because they they live different situations different experiences different times and things that happens right and also the the level of of the socializations that this generation have and also about that one so we were also talking about um a roadmap to bridge uh to bridge the generations and also we were saying about some important things right we talk about some important points related to jobs the culture of the activities they develop and different things and what i want you to do is that you can help me to say the, what recommendations are given for generation x and uh, baby boomers what recommendations can you say so i don't know if you can check guys to, according to the reading and you had afraid on to activate the microphone and say teacher one of the recommendations that i listened was that why i read was that and you can explain us with your own words what was that recommendations what were these recommendations given to the generation x or baby boomers and then after we have analyzed the generation x or baby boomers we will uh socialize also the recommendations for the generation uh we can say the the baby boomers because it's important to know about these generations and the generation y But we start with Generation X. And who wants to uh, give us some ideas to the class? What you understood or what recommendations you would like to highlight so we can also give a personal opinion about this um, kind of generation or famous generations. So I have the, you know, this time to share with you guys this one. Who wants to talk about it? Okay, who wants to break the eyes and also share what you understood about this uh, recommendations? Oh, uh, nobody? Well, one the recommendation of the article is a stop assuming and and start to listen so um, uh, the article recommended uh, to listen more uh, the white generation okay oh thank you so much rafael Okay, thank you so much. It was a very interesting information. So we can also discuss about that part. Okay, who wants to like uh, give uh, more details or explain what you understood related to this generation X or baby boomers? Who else?
Can I teacher in the article hello? say that Hi. hello? Can I? <laughs> yes. In the article say that uh, that the recommendation for Gen X and baby boomer, a uh, uh, smart organization will learn to tap into their potential because this generation grew up with advanced technology and instant access to information. They get social media, they want to make the difference and they will follow trustworthy leaders. And other other recommendation that the article say a scrap do as I say not as I do. These young people are very bright. They watch and learn. If there's a reason for why we do things, they tell them. And other recommendation I start viewing gen generation Y as a strategic business investment. Say in the article. Uh, is it related that uh, where is a critical need is engaging, hiring, training, developing, and retaining our future yeah, leaders? They will someone they run or our organizations if they are not ready. This is the the, the recommendation that that says in the article for Generation X and Baby Boomer. Thank you so much. Yes, the, you could like summarize important aspects about these recommendations, especially with dealing um with uh different, you know, perspectives in a company or in a kind of job we have. So I think it's it's very valuable to work in this one. And something that I talk my attention is start viewing Gen Y as a strategic business investment, right? So focusing about important things like in, engaging, hiring, training developing and retaining our future leaders. So these generations, for example, they require some kind of um, trainings because in the last units, we were discussing a little bit about trainings. And also we were saying that it's really important to work with trainings because we get, get more knowledge, more experience, and also new generations of workers, employees, they learn about something specifically, some important abilities. If the new generations learn new abilities, they will become more um, professionals and also they will become ex experts in some specific areas. So that's why we can also combine the generations with the opportunities to have trainings and developing and retaining our future leaders, right? So it's important to focus about that. And also the importance about technology like this generation grew up with advanced technology and instant access to information, right? Uh, like social media, information, platforms, everything related to that one. And also I want you to help me to explain with your own words, what were the recommendations for the gene Y? So who wants to like talk about, they, there were some, let's see, around five important recommendations. Who wants to uh, activate the microphone and start talking about what you understood about these recommendations, why? Good evening. Hello. Uh, for example, T-shirt, a uh, skill recognition uh, because baby boomer how the value value uh, visibility they also want their experience to recognize it and respect today um are willing to work long hours horse if if it means they will recognize it recognize it for it for example oh the, the microphone i guess Um, I think that, the, oh, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Oh, it's because you said, for example, and it was like, okay, thinking mm -hmm. about it. All right, thank you. Okay, good. All right, thank you so much for that. 
And uh, someone else that would like to like give more details uh, uh, or uh, something else that you would like to add related to the recommendations for Generation Y. For the recommendation teacher, as I mentioned in the, in the article, say that look at relationship and communication differently. Is it mean that that the new the 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 generation uh, Y they they have the different communicator because they have they use um, for networking they use LinkedIn and uh, for when when you try to look some job you 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 can go for LinkedIn it's a net, it's a social networking that they prefer for making business or relate connection everything now is linked in and you have to to in this generation and uh, you have to to know what is the 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 typical or the or the communication that prevalence in 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 that people because they are texting they are not just the the normal ways to communicate or that the generation X and boomers use. And, and I think that you have to, to evaluate that this is that the new, the new relation, the relationship and communication is, is a bit different than, than the others, the others um, generation. Oh, thank you so much. Um, it's very important, you know, so, you know, give a guideline to this new generation. Thank you so much for that. Okay, someone else that would like to, like, give more, some, some important things related to Generation Y? No one else? Teacher. Yes. Uh, baby boomer one hurts uh, longevity, longevity, but they also uh, want to have money to support. Uh, then service, then they wonder if their life's expensive will what there her and um wait maybe boomer thank you i appreciate it so there were some important details that we're talking about some recommendations like having a perspective uh, is important for example this generation they need to study they want to have a career to have an special major to be recognized by a specific uh, field of experience and also a career. And also, it's important also to be patient and um, maybe for managers and also for employees, it's important to be very patient and provide opportunities to employees to do a great job or demonstrate that they have great capacities to be part of the team or to be in a specific pos positions in a company. So it's normal, but sometimes it could be a little bit challenging. And also, employees should have the following um, skills. First one, the level of organization could be important to be organized and also uh, be committed with what the employee is doing. It's important. Respect also and work so hard to reach the goals. Look at the relationships and communication it's important the communication with the different generations to be very sociable, also can interact and share experiences in the job. Perhaps somebody's not doing a great job or perhaps is getting some bad experiences, but someone else from a different department or the same department that who has more experience or has better ideas can share ideas with the, with the other employee and also they can help each other. We always need some advice to you know, to share some important things. So that's why it's really valuable. 
and also can be respect by a person goals, right? It's important to have goals and look for them because I say, I want to do this one in the job, but you just say it. You don't do it. You don't act. You don't work. So if you have some plans to reach some goals, go straight and try as much as you can. Not just because you say it, persuade them. Go in a straight because that's important. Especially in a job, you cannot say, oh, boss, I'm sorry. I was trying. I did it. It's better to say I did it or I tried because in a job, you had to do it. No words, actions is what we care. And that is the, the perspective, right? And also one word that attracted my attention was the compromised. The employees should be compromised with their jobs, with their responsibilities, with their task. It's important that they can demonstrate that they are capable to reach the goals, being enthusiastic and also embrace challenges, accept them and work for them. So this is important about the bringing generation gap in the workplace. So recommendations for these generations to show that they are capable to reach the goals, but also um, it's necessary to go beyond their personal expectations. Okay, we go with the next activity. We're gonna ask to and Osman to read the instructions, please. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Hi. Uh, uh, what slide had to I had to read? The ones you can see on the screen. Can you see it? Building oh. vocabulary. Building vocabulary going like to find out more about key terms relative to to the game. Library, library, come on! I can I can I can I can see very well. Library. Oh, now it's it's better. Library, library. I don't know if liability. Uh, liability. Common ground, compromise, advocacy, advocacy, advocacy. Thank you. So we have these words uh, are related to, you know, jobs were placed, and we have liability that the ones we have here, the common ground. Also, this word is very common, especially when we're talking about the context of generations. And also we have the compromise, one of the words that were mentioned in the article um, about bringing uh, new challenges to these generations. And also advocacy. Those words uh, have an important meaning. So what I want you to do is to take a short time to look for the meaning in the, perhaps in your uh, dictionaries or perhaps online, okay? So I will give you uh, a couple of minutes to read the investigate the most important details and we were going to socialize them here in the class. Okay? Yes? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We can start and then we share together the meaning about each word.
Okay, taking advantage of what of time, we'll check the attendance list. So if you allow me just one, a brief moment to, you know, check the attendance. And also I was like um, verifying the vocabulary. And we have, uh, since the, the time we started, or the English classes, this level, we have studied a lot of words, different vocabulary. So it's important to watch the vocabulary again to make sure that we know these words. Because sometimes we study here in the class the meaning, but perhaps we can forget the vocabulary. If I ask you about the first words we study and also the definition of each one, maybe you remember all of them, or perhaps you can, uh, you could have forgotten some other words. And uh, one recommendation or strategy that can help you to know, know the vocabulary is to, you know, study, right, practice. And um, that is something that we also can do, right, to study the vocabulary, make a list in your notebook check your notebook and also check the list. So you also can um, see about this vocabulary. Okay, let's see, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Edwin Antonio Quintero. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jorge, uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Josh Manatilio Serrano. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Juan Carlos, uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Thanks. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thanks. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Uh, let's see. Uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, let's check the following vocabulary so you have a freedom to share. Remember that the, the microphone is active for everyone. And also we can talk about uh, liability, common ground, compromise, and advocacy. So first, we're going to uh, take a short time to analyze this vocabulary with your partners. You will share uh, with the class what you found. For example, what do you find about liability. So perhaps Kevin can talk about what he found. You can compare the meaning 
um, in English. And perhaps if you don't understand the meaning in, in that way, so perhaps you can socialize with a partner in um in Spanish to make sure that you know the words. So you will be very brief to talk about the meaning of each one. And we're going to have a short analysis about the vocabulary. Remember that the most important is that you know the meaning of these words and you don't forget them because this vocabulary is very useful for this level and also for the next one, right? So we're going to create the breakup rooms and in a briefly way, you can talk about you what you found with the meanings. Let's work and practice. Look at your screen, please, and accept the invitation. fabric and they say okay you can buy the fabric and I pay for that uh, uh, I mean uh, I pay the fabric with the money of the company but after uh, I pass the chart to the client and that is the responsibility that they have for the company to pay this fabric that I buy before. Yes, you have to keep the 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 standard for the fabric and is that the responsibility or the li liability? Yes. Anyone else? That Wendy and Emerson, where are you found? Well, I found a uh, basic definition and say the is generally referring to a state of being responsibility for thing, something. Mm -hmm. This is all I, I can find. Okay. In the other, other definition I found is a uh, in the lawyers square or when in the look uh, in both uh, uh, lawyers maybe for example if it's the is the payment uh, or amount on the third part that are since a debt or are paid either within the years, for example.
Yes, I agree with you because I found the same in another, in another, um, in another book, in another, um, I search in, in, in another, in Google, for example, and in Google appeared that the same, like, like I just, as I you say, this, the, let me check. Is something a person or company of usually assume of money is referred also well of money? I think this. Yes, are legally printing. Are legal, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's referred that liability insurance covers, coverage protects your financial if you are responsible responsible for someone else in yours or property damage. Yeah, it's a responsibility in, I think in, in love is a legal, is in, in the in the context legal, I think. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wendy, where are you from? The same? Okay, next one, common ground. I found common ground, that a common ground is opinions or interests shared by each of two or more parties. In Spanish, I think that is tema de interés mutuo, I think. Common ground. Hmm. Very well, very well. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, next. Um, what do you think the common, common ground? Common ground. I, the definition say yeah. share interest belief or opinions between two people or group of people who disagree about most other subjects. Okay. How about you, Jasma? Um, <laughs> One moment. Okay, no problem. I have. Okay, for example, in in my, in, um, I don't know the, the exactly definition the the common growth. This is more a in an example. Uh, and really, how do you say common ground in a sentence? For example, the president rule believes the relationship. He built over the cans in the Senate could help him find a common ground. Uh, is this a similar uh, response? Uh, uh, um, uh, and the last question in the liability. And for me, it's a, a, a liability in the sire in the determinate parts in, in evaluation on activity. And um, the concept is very, very expensive, the common grow. And the forest, uh, a shore is a terreno común in Spanish, uh, the, the, the common grow. And in the job is, for me, it's responsible or the ability that one person in your job in determining some. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's I, 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 I found, I found the common ground is different. The common ground is when the when the group the people to discuss uh, uh one opinion and the people and and people and people with agree. If, if the and the people would agree for the 
for uh, on on the people who like excuse me the, the, the people who uh, agree and 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 understand is the 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 same it's about the the opinion i don't know yeah it's very complicated on definition the common group depend on the opinion it's right yeah yeah Okay. But I, I I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> I found I found I found uh, the concept is the common ground is I I understand is when the the group the people to discuss is about the the one thing. Uh, for oh, example, okay. for for example, and uh, and uh, and yesterday I uh, 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 today all people and the work is to discuss is about the for the president the the to the to discuss the school or oh no the speech the speech the yesterday is <laughs> okay. the people a group of people uh, with agree with the president with and uh, the group of people don't agree with the to the to uh, to the speech for the president mm -hmm. okay yeah <laughs> okay Thank you. Yeah. Okay, next, next uh, concept, uh, compromise. Excuse me? Teacher, I have a question. Hello. What is the correct pronunciation of common ground? ground, ground? Common ground. Common ground. ground, yes. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Like, to, to this. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Who, who, how, how, all that opinion? No, about this word, uh, I, don't, I don't have the, the other opinion. I, I agree with you, Frido. It's like when a team is, is talking about the same topic or the equal topic. Yeah. I don't have other idea. Okay. And what is, well, if you want, we can share the idea of compromise. Uh -huh. The other, the other word. Compromise, compromise. In in my opinion, compromise, compromise and commitment is like responsible and life life. Liability, 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 and responsible is the same thing that compromise and com commitment. Okay. Yes. Yeah. For my case, um, I found the compromise is like an agreement between two sides, like two person, two companies. It's like to make an agreement or something similar. It's a characteristic, right? Super. Um, no, it's like make an agreement. You're mad. No, uh, I mean, I found that compromise is an agreement between two sides who have different opinions. <laughs> yes. For me, it's a, I have a short opinion. Uh, compromise for me is uh, get agree uh, between two people or many people. Uh, the people decide to do something uh, 
I, I, I don't know. It, it is only uh, to be agreed. But the the disagree is for to do something in the future. Okay. Okay. Um. Who? Who ha who wants to give other opinions? Or oh, we, we can we can pass the other the last concept I'll bo uh I'll bo case I'll bo case. Um, for the last uh word uh, I have a I have that. What is the pronunciation, the correct pronunci pronunciation? Advocacy. 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 What yeah. is the correct pronunciation, teacher? Advocacy. 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 Okay, thank you. I don't know okay. what is the meaning, most one, really. Uh, I have some doubts about that. Is a uh, public support of idea, plan, or way of doing something? Mm -hmm. Promotion, uh, advocacy is a promotion. It's like marketing. Marketing is promotion. But promotion something. I, I, I found that advocacy is like defense, <laughs> but... but... I don't know. It maybe it depends. We need to relation the that word with generations, right? Okay. Is 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 clearly the mean. Okay. I, I don't know, but I. <laughs> I feel we, we don't have many words to explain this. But what do you find? What do you find, Osman? What, what? Okay, okay, students, uh, we we'll go back, we we'll go back to socialized important, you know, terms about this vocabulary. The first one we're talking about liability. I could see that most of you have uh, the right answers. We're saying that we had to first check the vocabulary and also the context of the vocabulary. Because, for example, when we talk about liability and uh, we talk about the state of being responsible, for something, especially in a job or an activity. So we are talking about the responsibility, but at the same time, li liability, it's something a person or a company owns, especially um, usually a sum of money, right? The liabilities are settled over time through the transfer of economic benefits, including money, oh, by the way, so good or goods or services. So also we can all check or contextualize liability in what area, in what area, right? 
So, but in that case, it's something the person or a company owns, like a possession. See, we're talking about money. We're talking about money too. So that is important. And then we saw the common ground. The common ground also, it's related to opinions or interest shared by each of two or more parties or groups. And also that's why we talk about common ground. But at the same time, if two people or groups find common ground, we talk about they agree about something. They have an agreement. For example, the common ground is when the generations, the millennials and the baby boomers, for example, they have different opinions, but they, at the end, they try to make one idea. They need to organize, they need to agree about something. We come on, we call in English common ground because they make an agreement between generations, between people in order to get something. That's why they agree about something, especially when they don't agree, but other things like, I don't agree, neither do I. But anyway, we had to make a solution. We need to make a conclusion, no matter if they agree or not. But at the end, they have to have a decision. So we also use common ground as part of the term. And then we have uh, the compromise that is a common word. It's um, not a big deal. So when we talk about compromise, we talk about an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by side making, perhaps. And also in uh, the ability to listen to two sides of a dispute, right? That is important, settle or dispute by mutual. So in that case, we have an agreement. We have a compromise to do something. I don't agree. You don't agree. But anyway, we need to make a compromise. We had to make it work. We had to make an agreement and accept. That's what we call compromised agreement or a settlement of a dispute in which we need to make a decision together for uh, looking for a special benefit. That's what we talk about compromise. And the last, uh, what we call advocacy. Advocacy is defined as any action that speaks in favor of, recommends, argues, argues or for a cause, supports or defends or pleads on behalf of others. So in conclusion, the advocacy is the support. It's an action that is in favor of a recommendation, a cause, a situation. That's why the advocacy, if the goal in Spanish is like defensa or abogacia, right? You, you defend something. That's what we call advocacy. For example, one example that comes in my mind is like parents often advocate for their child's need at school. We need to look for the benefits. We need to fight for what we want. Good causes. So that's why Advocacy is that one. It's related to a defense. It's an action in favor of good causes or people. We have this one. Well, let's continue with the next slide. Any comments or questions? Questions or comments? No? No. Oh. Thank you. Okay, let's see the next topic. The next topic is the gen well, so we're talking about how to avoid run on sentence part one. And for that situation, we have the famous fun boys. Do you remember the fun boys? Do you remember the coordinated conjunctions? Yes or not? Okay, I'm just going to share it because we, we studied that before, but we're going to go deeper about these exercises. Before explaining you the common rules, I will share in a briefly way the examples, for example, for, and, uh, nor, but, those are the fanboys or coordinated conjunctions. Because the purpose of a co coordinated conjunction is to join, match, connect, two independent sentences or two independent clauses. 
we call fanboys or coordinator conjunctions. And also we have or, yet, so, specifically seven. I repeat, so, yet, or, but, nor, and, for. That's what we call coordinator conjunctions. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Who wants to help me to read the instructions? I need a volunteer. Who wants to be? Me teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hope to you how to avoid wrong wrong sentence part one. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Use a comma before according conjunctions on voice that joins two independent independent clauses. Example, the gap from a generation put many employees at the at a disadvantage. But ne but, but never never an experienced employees are supporting each other. When two independent when two independent clauses are put together with without a comma plus according conjunction, the result is a wrong on sentence. Wrong on sentence cause or message to be difficult to read by our audience. Wrong on, I read the research about the generation gap. It is very interesting. Correction, I read the research, research, research about the generation gap and it is very interesting. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So in conclusion about what Osman had read, it um to use a comma before a coordinator conjunctions oh so bad and because we have studied before that we use comma to separate phrases and also separate words and uh, now we understand what are the coordinated conjunctions maybe you will ask teacher what are the coordinated conjunctions are the words that can help to connect two different ideas. The coordinator conjunctions connect to independent sentences. That's what we call coordinator because coordinate, join, match sentences. And also we can see independent clauses. Teacher, what is the meaning about independent clause? Clause in Spanish is sentence. So independent sentences or independent clauses is the same because sometimes we don't understand what is a closed. It's a sentence, right? So look at the example that he already read. The gap generation put many amplages at a disadvantage, comma, because the next word is but. But is a coordinator conjunction. So when you see a coordinator conjunction before this, you need to add comma because the generation, the gap generation put many employees at the disadvantage. This is one sentence. It's an independent sentence. And the next newer and experienced employees are supporting each other. This is another independent sentence or independent clause. So the two sentences are independent, but we can join, match the two sentences using coordinated conjunctions. So the function of a coordinated conjunction is to join or match two sentences. And also there was a rule that says that when two independent clauses are put together without a comma, plus a coordinated conjunctions, the result is a run-on sentence. What is a run-on sentence? Run-on sentences cause or message to be difficult to read by our audience. Look at the example about the run-on sentence. I read the research about the generation gap. It is very interesting. It's like, I mean, it is okay, but you need a connector because the idea is like a, like a run-on. It's like, okay, fast. 
but you need to separate the ideas to be understood. Sometimes when people speak, it's like, I'm, I'm sorry, what do you say? I, I don't understand. It's because people don't separate the sentences. And that happened in Spanish either, that sometimes we don't understand people in our own language because people don't use connectors, don't respect the commas, don't respect the ideas. So that's why it's important to separate those points, right? So that's why random sentence codes are a message to be difficult to read. And imagine in English, right? <laughs> okay, uh, I read this research about the generation gap, but it's very interesting. It's like, what? Oh, and it is very interesting. That will be better. Look at the correction. I read the research about the generation gap and it is very interesting. You see, the two ideas were matched by one idea. Thanks to comma, and the coordinated conjunction. And now we're gonna read in a briefly way the function of these um, coordinated conjunctions. Okay, I need a volunteer to read four. Okay, a volunteer to read the information about four. Four combined to two parts of the sentence. The code called nomadic two part for range. He combined two clauses. She was uh she was a little yesterday for. She was a sick. Okay, thank you. In that case, in the first part, we use for it because we combine two parts of a sentence. Opeye couldn't make it on, um, make it on to the party. And also for the rain, we add an extra information. But also what matters is to combine two sentences or two clauses. She was on leave yesterday. This is a sentence. And the second sentence is that she was sick, two ideas. But I make one idea thanks to four, comma, and four. Okay, thanks. And Teacher, a, yes, a question. Tell me. Um, for example, uh, when combined two clauses, in, in these examples, uh, we, we can read, she was on leave yesterday, for she was sick. In this sentence, we can use because, for example, no. no. No, because in that case, the the grammar structure is coordinated conjunctions. Because is in a different category. Because is in the category a subordinated conjunctions. The characteristic about a coordinated conjunctions is the two sentences are independent. If I separate, she was on leave yesterday, is a sentence. It has a subject, verb, and complement. And the other sentence, she was sick, is a sentence because it has subject, the verb, and complement. The characteristic of a coordinator conjunction is that they join two independent sentences. If I use because, because is one sentence independent, and the other sentence is dependent. So for that reason, these words for and nor are coordinated conjunctions. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, next example, uh, volunteer. Me teacher, and. Thanks. Combin combining to nouns. Kuku and Indipa have been married for three years now. Combined to, to phrase, uh, keeping a journal and listening to music are me, are me hobbies. Combined to close, the Taj Mahal is an agra, comma, and it is considered a symbol of Shah Nahas. Loved for his wife, Mumtaz. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. So we can see in the first one, the end is for combined two nouns, cuckoo and deepa. Two nouns. And the rest is complement. Combining two phrases, keeping a journal and listening to music. Two phrases. And the last one is combine two clauses or two sentences. Because we have the first one, the Tag Mahal is in Agra. It's a sentence. And the other sentence is, it is considered as a symbol of uh, Shaharan's love for his wife, Mumtaj. So two different sentences. And two sentences are connected by the coordinator conjunction and. Okay, let's see Nor, another volunteer. Nor. Me, teacher, can I? Thank you. <clears throat> no, combining two nouns. She doesn't like having milk nor eggs. Combining two phrases. Don't forget to lock the door nor turn off the light. Combine two clauses. Danny doesn't miss the gym nor doesn't he miss his diet. Thank you. So you can check here, combining nouns, having milk and eggs is uh, our nouns. Mix, having milk, eggs are nouns. Combining phrases, lock the door and turn off the lights, two phrases. And combine clauses or sentences, right? The ones we have here, um, Danny doesn't, does not miss the gym, is a sentence independent. Does he miss his diet? Is a sentence independent too, connected by nor. Look at the last one, but, but. Next. Me teacher. Thank you. But combining to not, it is not Henry who should do it but you. Combining to phrase, I was looking for you but found your brother in his stay. Combining to close, Kavicha is not a fan of Marvel movies but she loved blood pants. Thank you so much. You can see the same ideas, nouns. Uh, also, you can check the word. It is not Harry should do it, but you, right? So we have but. And also phrases. You can see the phrases and the closes. Two independent sentences. Let's see the next one. Okay, or a uh, volunteer who wants to help me to read. Yes. Convenient to announce the speech will be given by Brian or Imba. Convenient to phrases. Would you like a cook? Would you like to cook your own food or order food online? And combine two clauses. Sorry. Combine two clauses. Uh, you can go to to the theater or watch online or watch it online. Thank you. So you can see also the the meaning about this one or to, to think about choices. 
You have this choice or this choice. Let's see with yet. A volunteer to read yet. Yes, a volunteer to read about yet. Yet, combining two phrases, it was raining yet sunny and bright. Combining two clauses, my brother just had his lunch, comma, yet he says he is still hungry. Okay, you can see also yet, right? Uh, okay, you can see the examples, the two phrases, and also the clauses, right? Um, and the last one, so volunteer. Thank you. Thank you. Combining two phrases, I did, I did find the measuring cups of I use a measuring spoons to prepare the house for the cold for the gate. Combining the clauses, the mother beer left comma so my brother to. My brother took care of it. Exactly. So you can combine clauses, right? So we can also check um, the, the, you know, the words related to for and nor, but, or it also, yet, and so. Uh, first, I would like to ask you, do you know the meaning about these words? Do you know the meaning or the definition about this? Yes, you know the meaning about these words? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move to the last. You know the meaning about these others? Or yet and so? I guess yes. it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have uh, the following exercise. It's actually pretty easy, uh, pretty simple. You have to complete the sentences with the coordinator conjunctions that we have already explained. And also you can also see this part. Uh, look at the first one. Is it uh, Nina plan to have dinner at China Valley? C, to eat that you leave home early. You can reach the exam center in a time and she reached home late and she looked very energetic. Do you like black lives, green lives? I'm sure it locked the door and I cannot remember if it took the keys. So what I want you to do is to take a short time to complete the sentences. And in a, in a brief way, we're going to try to maximize them. Meanwhile, you do this exercise. I need to check the attendance. list.
Okay, uh, I will take a short time to check the attendance list. And this time, one moment, please. We see, one second. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Okay, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Thanks, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Rafael Present Alexander. Teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Sterna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. And Manuel Antonio Camilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, we, we have a, uh, so a couple of minutes before concluding, and um, we're going to take advantage about a time. So let's see here.
Okay, let's check the number one. We have here the number one. Um, who wants to share? What do you think could be the number one? Uh, plan to have a dinner at China Valley. What could what could be the coordinated conjunctions that we can use for a number one? I believe it's, it's aunt. The, Sid and uh, Nina. Okay, the coordinated conjunction is end, right? So we're updating the answers here in the chat. Thank you. Okay, so the best one is to, you know, to select this one. Number two. See to it that you leave home early. What do you think is the best um, coordinated conjunction for the number two? Maybe so, teacher. That is correct. So is the best coordinated conjunction. So because we match the two ideas to make one. So since uh, you leave home early, so you can reach exam center in time. So if you did this one, so the connection was good. So that is correct. Number three, um, she reached home late. She looked very energetic. What could be? She reached home late, but she looked very energetic. Mm, there is another one that will be that would be better than but like you know this one like comparing or like being opposite so there is another one that could match specifically for a number three maybe four Tisha mm, no. it says she reached home late comma mm -hmm. and when we are talking about home late Maybe because you have been working more hours. And she, well, she looks very energetic. So what do you think uh, could be this contrast? Yes? What is the word? Yet, is that, the word. That is the best one, exactly. So because we're contrasting, what happened? Because you came home late, yet she looked very energetic. Like if she's ready to work, but it's not the way. So the best choice would be in that case yet. Number four, um, do you like black olives? Or black olives or green? Yes, olives. because we are comparing choices. This one or this one? So the best one could be this part. Next, number five. I'm sure I locked the door. I cannot remember if I took the keys. So which one do you think could be? Maybe but. So the answer is? But yeah, that is that is okay, because it says I'm sure I, I locked the door, but I can remember I cannot remember. So two things that are doesn't fit. So bad is the best choice in that case. Number six, my friend and I. Mm -hmm. But the second part I have a doubt. <laughs> Uh -huh. Look at the example. Um, my friend and I, as you said, had dinner at Patiala House. And another word related to because, what could be? Because we cannot use because, but there is a word that can replace because, or we can use instead of that. Four, four teachers. Excellent, yes. For it was the last, yes. For it was the last day before she moved to Delhi. So in that case, we use N and we use four. Great job. 
Number seven. Number seven, I think that jet. My cousin did not collect the clothes from the dry cleaner. Negative, did not collect. And did he borrow the things required for the birthday party? It looked like a little negative. What do you think mm -hmm. could be? Nor do you use negative nor? Exactly. So didn't collect the clothes and nor did he buy the things required. So he didn't do both things. So that's why we use nor. Excellent. Well, so we finished with this one because of the time. We need to finish, but let's finish the number eight. Um, he had a lot of sweets uh, to an extent that could be could become sick. He says he can have more. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> mm, there is he another. say he can he can have more. He say he can have more. Aha. Uh -huh. So, but there is another one that we can use. It's another for. one for. No, because we're using he. He says. He in the says. Context. I mean, this, I'm sorry. Maybe or. Or did he? The first sense did, that the first sense that say, the sweets can could become sick, but you know, so he has more. He can have more. So another one that could be what this one. Yet. Exactly. Look at the context. So that's why we use yet. And um, I would say in Spanish, it's like, aunque, él dice que puede tener más. Y supuestamente, o sea, los dulces lo enferman. Doesn't make sense, right? So that's why, you know, he can have more. So that's why the context about yet. Well, guys, we're about to finish because we have taken too much time and you need to go to bed. <laughs> so getting ready for tomorrow. And uh, guys, I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember that we have, um, you know, the time is actually going so fast that we have three more classes and we conclude this level. Okay, thank you guys for being here and I hope to see you tomorrow and have thank a beautiful you. night to all of you guys. Thank you so have much. Have a good night. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Have a good time. Bye. Have a good night.